So first off, you're competing in the off weekend for NASCAR. How how big of an advantage do you think that is for you? Uh, I mean, it's definitely an advantage being the car more, um, you know, so like that's definitely an advantage, but at the same time, we're running full time in this series, so it's not really too much difference. And what would you say that has been the biggest learning thing from Mark? Because a lot of people will say, oh, Ty's in here, not that big of a deal, but how do you feel like this series has helped develop you? Just more like, time in the race car, I feel like just putting, getting put in different positions is helping me in uh, different racetracks. Just overall more time in the race car, I think that's going to help you more. And you get all these times at the racetrack, and you've said before, you love racing, that's pretty much all you want to do. What's it mean to kind of have a little bit more of a consistent schedule this year? It's definitely um, a little bit nicer, you know, having more of a consistent schedule this year. I feel like, um, you know, I, I love racing and I want to be able to do as much as I can, so as much race as I can on the plate is always nice. And every week you're kind of the guy to beat. Is that like a compliment or is that kind of like puts pressure on you? Uh, you know, I really feel like I don't have too much, you know, pressure. I mean, you could say I can always bring up pressure in my life, but, you know, I I got blessed by the Lord so much, and you know I have nothing you know to worry about because He's got my plan set. And if it's not racing, it's not racing. I do whatever He's got, so not, nothing pressurizes me. So I, I really love racing, and you know I'm really close to God, and that's the best way to do it. How important is it to kind of have that faith and racing kind of balance in your career? Well, first of all, faith is overriding everything in existence, over racing, over anything, over any politics. And I feel like that's the main key. And if it's not your main of your your idols, if idol racing's your idols, and you're not going anywhere, you're spinning your tires. People have done it different ways, but it's the way I look at it, and it's the way God says, what the scripture says, and it's always been alive, so it's uh, the way I look at it, and I feel like that's uh, the only true way. And what would you say kind of your, your goals for the rest of the season are, especially after such like an impressive Thank 2021 you. for you? Uh, you know, just to win as much as I can win championships. I feel like that's just the goal every week in and week out. And your, your points racing, so it's a little bit different going in, but... You know, just trying to win as much as you can and, and uh, get a championship. And outside of racing, one thing that I've really noticed with you is you got you got quite the fit game. How important is that to you? Really important. You know, I'm, I feel like for these races, I feel like you got to be really prepared, and I like to over prepare just so I know I'm, I have no excuses that I made um, for not not winning. Um, you know, I just try to prepare as much as I can. I grew up racing bicycles, and I grew up in a really, really active family, so I always love to bury myself in the dirt. Try to make my way out of it. Do you think it's kind of like a dress for success? I gotta get a video of these shoes too. They look pretty nice. Every week you got a nice new pair of shoes on. Is, is, I gotta ask, is that like, is you kind of like plan for that? Oh, uh, you know, I'm a really big, I really, I really like shoes. I grew up, you know, in Charlotte, so I got a lot of fashion going on, and I really, I really enjoy it. I really, I really like it. Um, and you know, I always like different stuff. I like always like to be different and stand out in the crowd. And, you know, I love watching people follow me. I, I, I really like that, and I Thank think. You. Do you think that other drivers need to kind of like follow suit, kind of like improve their like drip game, if you will? I mean, they can do what they want. I, I would love, I do it, I just do it. I think be yourself. I feel like God made everybody different, and I feel like you know, made me different than a lot of people, and the same thing with everybody else. So I always like to do my own deal. And kind of bouncing off of that, you have that, you have that individuality to you. How important is that? Because everybody is like, oh, do you model yourself after? Kyle, do you model yourself after like a Denny Hamlin? How important is it to be Ty Gibbs? Like I said before, like no role models. I or I have role models. I have no idols in my life, and my idol is God, and that's who I want to be. And that's who I want to be like every day, and that's my biggest idol. And you know, I'm trying to learn that it's hard because there's a lot of stuff you need to be put into sacrifice. So um, you know, I, I just like to be myself, and I feel like all the best athletes to ever do it has been themselves. Michael Jordan, the Senna, the Kyle Busch. Um, I feel like they've been themselves, so that's my game plan. Is that kind of your message to everybody that's kind of like watching you go through this developmental system? Not necessarily. I really don't have to. I really feel like being yourself. I don't really have to say anything about it. I'm just doing what I like to do. Um, and, and, and give over to me so much. I'm very thankful to be where I'm at. I really enjoy racing, like I said. Before. And last question for you. You've had such a great year again. Um, what would you say that your message is for younger drivers? Somebody that looks up to you and says, hey, I want to be the next Ty Gibbs. Yeah, you know, I think it's the biggest key is to work hard. You know, you're going to watch people and be, you know, motivated after them. But motivation is only temporary. And being relentless lasts forever. So being relentless and be yourself. 
you know, and don't be too hard on yourself. Um, you know, I feel like I struggle with that, and I feel like I wish I could go back and talk to my younger self.